I'm Dr. Luttrell from Iowa State University, and we're doing a research project of what high school students think about their high school counselors. And I know from doing some research already that we found that students have a wide variety of opinions about high school counselors. And I would like to know your opinions about your high school counselor. How would you describe Mr. S Smith as your counselor here? Oh, I'd say he's a, he's a hard worker. He, he always helps me with uh, problems with college. He, any family problems, he always is interested, and he comes to all the school activities. Mm -hmm. he, he never involves us with his problems, and he's intelligent. He's really helpful, and he gives me, he doesn't give me advice. He directs me where to go, so he doesn't tell me, like my mom and dad always do, what I should do. <laughs> He's really easy to get along with. He has a neat office and always has food or something up there. <laughs> He's a person that talks to me at my level. He doesn't try to give me answers that I have to do. He doesn't make me talk to him if I don't want to, but... He makes me feel like I want to come back and talk to him because he has good answers, and he's just there when you need him. He's a really nice guy, and he gets involved with the kids, and he, you can tell he really cares about what's going on in our lives as a whole. How helpful do you find Mr. Smith as a counselor? I find Mr. Smith as a counsel, counselor real helpful. He, he, uh, he is always there to help us. He's really helpful, like he gets information for you from different schools if you need, or if you want scholarship information, and he gets things done right away. He doesn't, you know, wait for a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. I was having problems with my mom, and so I went to talk to him about it, and he was very open with me, and that helped me to be open with him, and now things are really good with my mom. Mm -hmm. He's helped me with college, deciding what college to go to, mm -hmm. what courses I should take, you know, if they're good, he seems to know what he's talking about. He's been around for a while. I can go in and talk to him anytime, and he's always got time, and he's nice and organized, and that helps a lot, too. How willing would you be to go see Mr. Smith in the future if you had a concern? I'd go to him right away, even if it wasn't a very big problem, because he's helpful. He gets things done, so I don't have to do it. <laughs> okay. I'd be very willing to go talk to him, because... He helped me so much that time with my mom that I feel he could help me with anything. I'd want to go see him again. I feel like that as I am right now, I'm going to go talk to him a lot more. He helps me. He's open. He doesn't force me to do stuff I don't want to, but he helps me out with the problems I have. I'd go right to him. He's a great guy. Come in. Oh, hi, Paul. How you doing? Hello, Mr. Smith. I don't know. Not too good. Not too good, huh? No. What's, what seems to be the problem? I don't know. Life's just one big hole. I'm just falling. One big hole, huh? Mm-hmm. I kind of sense that you're feeling pretty down just by looking at you. Can you put a finger on it at all? Mm, I don't know. I haven't done too hard on the last couple tests. Mm-hmm. That's got you feeling pretty down, huh? Yeah. For some reason, I kind of think that maybe that isn't all there is to it. There's some other things that are kind of wearing you down a little bit. Yeah, I've been getting yelled at at home. Mm-hmm. Dad's been yelling at me. He has? Mm-hmm. About what? Oh, he says I'm not responsible. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing, you know my fair share yeah. stuff, you know. You kind of feel like you disagree, huh? You are. Yeah, I just, you know, I, I, they're not that big things, you know, like, I don't think they're that important. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Can we kind of go back in time and maybe you can tell me about a specific incident so I can kind of see what... Well, just last night, you know, he got all over me because I had, didn't take out the trash, you know. And yeah, I hadn't taken out the trash in a couple of days, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's, I mean, it was full. Yeah. But uh, he just it's started like yelling at me, saying how irresponsible I was. And uh, 
I don't know. I, that didn't make me feel too good. Mm -hmm. I yelled back at him and stuff. Mm -hmm. Kind of like it isn't that big of a deal and he's jumping all over you for a little thing. Is that yeah. Yeah. I just wonder maybe if there might be something behind all that. If, if maybe that was just an excuse for yelling at you or anything. Can, is there something going on at sort of a deeper level maybe that it's kind of coming between you and your dad? I don't know. Just we just can never sit down and talk. Mm -hmm. We just <clears throat> when he gets home from work, he just you know I said hi dad and he goes off you know and dinner time you know mm -hmm. part and no real and, communication there, huh? Uh. -uh. Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried? Well, yeah. Before dinner, you know, sometimes I have a little free time, you know, before studying. Mm -hmm. You know, sit down, and ask him what he's been doing in the day, and I don't know if so I had a meeting here or there or something. And uh, you know, we never get out of talking about, you know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. He just tells me about the things that he does. You never get down to my side of the story or anything. Mm -hmm. Almost like I kind of sense that you feel like maybe you're you're making the effort and you're sort of reaching out and he's really not reaching back. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe maybe I just haven't been trying hard enough or something. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see.